Please support my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button right below the video. Once you get subscribed to my channel do not forget to click on this bell icon right next to it in order to get notifications about my latest videos. Now, last but not least if you like this video please click on this like button in order to show me your love. How to create Mac OS Catalina DMG file on a Mac The very first thing you have to do is to download the Mac OS 10.15 Catalina from the App Store. From your Mac OS, it's easy to download the official install Mac OS Catalina app from App Store into the Applications folder. But in this video, I am not going to download the Mac OS Catalina update because I had already downloaded it. Click on Get to Download. Once the Mac OS Catalina is downloaded from App Store, it will be added to the Applications folder. As you can see here is the Install Mac OS Catalina update. There you know that it is not a DMG and nor an ISO file. So, to make it a DMG file you have to go through some process to make it a DMG file. Step 2. Open the disk utility and follow the steps. Before getting started with the process of creating a DMG file, make sure, your Mac has at least 10 GB of storage, so it should avoid unexpected errors. I am using here disk utility to create a new blank disk image, which is a file that will contains our bootable Mac OS Catalina files and folders. In the disk utility app, click file, new image, blank image. Enter a file name for the disk image. Here I am entering the file name Catalina for the disk image. Then choose where to save it. Here I am selecting the desktop to get save my blank disk image file on desktop. This is the name that appears in the finder where you save the disk image file before opening it. Now here in the name field, as you can see here you have to enter the name for the disk image. So I am entering the name here Mac OS Catalina in the name field. In the size field, enter a size for the disk image. So you have to enter 8900 MB here in the size field to create an 8.9 GB DMG file. Click the format pop-up menu and choose Mac OS Extended. Journaled. Please note here if the disk image will be used with a Mac that has a solid state drive, SSD, then you can choose APFS or APFS, case sensitive, format. Click the partitions pop-up menu, then choose a single partition, Apple partition map. Click save. As you can see here disk utility is creating the disk image file catalina.dmg on desktop. As you can see here operation is successful and mounts its disk icon on your desktop and in the disk utility sidebar, under the title disk images, with the name Mac OS Catalina. Click done. Here is the mount disk with the name Mac OS Catalina. Now close disk utility. In the finder. Now you can copy your files to the mounted disk image, then eject it. And if you want to open this catalina.dmg file, you will need to right click the DMG file to open it and mount it to your Mac with disk image mounter by default. As you can see Mac OS Catalina disk image is now mounted. Let me show you by opening it. It is empty.
Step 3, it's time to make our new blank disk image to bootable Mac OS Catalina.dmg image file, by using the terminal. So to open terminal, click Go, Utilities from the Finder menu bar. In the Utilities folder that opens, double click to open the terminal. Close the Utilities. Now open the Applications folder and find the Install Mac OS Catalina update which was downloaded from the App Store. Here is the Install Mac OS Catalina update. Right click on it then choose show packages contents. Open contents, open resources and search for create install media. In the terminal window, type sudo followed by a space. Select the create install media file and then drag it to the terminal window. In the terminal window, type dash, dash volume followed by a space. In the finder window, click go then select go to folder. Type slash volumes then click go. As you can see here is our Mac OS Catalina mounted disk image. Drag it to the terminal window then hit enter. Type your system password. Type Y and press enter. Because it will erase mounted disk image. Now the command will create bootable Mac OS Catalina DMG disk image file. As you can see here making disk bootable, copying boot files and now we have bootable Mac OS Catalina DMG file is ready. Finally, let me show you the mounted disk image, by opening it and the size of the Mac OS Catalina inside it. The size of Mac OS Catalina installer is 8.18 GB. Now you can copy this Mac OS Catalina.dmg file to USB flash drive. But problem which I am going to face now while copying the file to USB flash drive. Maybe a few of you guys can face this same problem. I am going to show you the solution for the same. First, connect your USB flash drive with your Mac and please watch this video till the end. As you can see here the capacity of my USB flash drive is 30.73 GB. As you can see here is the error which I get. This is due to FAT32 limitation. Files larger than 4 GB cannot be stored on a FAT32 volume. Formatting the flash drive as XFAT will resolve this issue. Open the disk utility and select your USB flash drive then click on Erase. Click the Format pop-up menu, then choose XFAT format.
and click Erase. Click Done. Close this utility now. You will able to copy Mac OS Catalina.dmg file in your USB flash drive. This solution is for those of you guys who are using Windows 10 PCs also and for not technically sound and want to use your USB flash drive in both Mac OS and Windows 10 computers. This is my Windows 10 computer and let me show you Mac OS Catalina.dmg disk image file here in my USB pen drive. How to convert DMG to ISO on Mac OS? Basically, you can't create the Mac OS Catalina ISO, as you did to the DMG file. So, to create an ISO file of the Mac OS Catalina, you have to convert the Mac OS Catalina DMG file to an ISO file. Mac OS X and Mac OS offer an easier way to convert DMG to ISO. The disk utility that's built into Mac will help you do the conversion from DMG to ISO. Double click on the DMG file to mount it. You should be able to see it on the left panel in disk utility. Launch disk utility. Here is the disk utility app. Open it. Right click the DMG file in the left panel under disk images title and select image from an format. Now, you can use this Mac OS Catalina.iso file for installing into a virtual machine using VMware and VirtualBox in Windows 10 computers. That's it for this video and thanks for watching I hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Please hit the bell icon for notification of my new videos. Also hit the like button and share this video with your friends and comment it would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials you can also make a request for new tutorials. See you soon.